Hey there YouTube, Mountain Boy here. Today I'm showing you the Maxpedition TT12 convertible backpack. This is the smallest pack in their prepared citizen line. I think the line is kind of about having something that's a little less tactical looking, kind of blends in a bit more like a good everyday EDC. This is six liters and the dimensions of it are about 12 feet long, seven inches wide, five and a half inches deep. It's got a main compartment with two mesh pockets on either side and like a sleeve that's probably big enough for like a small iPad. Uh, the, there's also an external uh, zippered pocket here, but I think one of, kind of the neat parts about this is the way it actually opens up and you can open and access the whole pack laying on it on the ground, which is nice kind of for organization. Here you can kind of see these these mesh pockets and that, that sleeve is kind of back here in the back. Uh, it compresses down, nice hardware all throughout. This also has a concealed carry sleeve here in the back that's got Velcro loop side that you can kind of take various items and attach them in there. As far as the layout of it, it's, it's very flexible. It has these four D rings on either, uh, all around the pack and this big one. So it can either be a backpack, you can pull this tight, and you've now got a sling pack. You can kind of rearrange this so it kind of rides kind of differently on the body. As you can see, all the pull tabs are very high quality uh, shrink materials on here. All the grab handles, all the webbing is seat belt grade materials, fairly soft. The backing here, not only is this padded, but it's kind of a very breathable mesh, very high density. So it's nice because it's not gonna uh, pick up a lot of seeds or other types of things. And there is a traditional Velcro uh, loop side on here if you wanna put your patches on here. The MSRP on this is $100 and you're seeing these on sale now uh, for about $70. Since I think they're going on closeout, which might be indicating Maxpedition is, is not gonna be making these anymore. The pros on this, like most Mac Maxpedition products, it's extremely well made. All of the all the seams are straight. Uh, it's overbuilt, 500 denier fabric. It's coated, lined. Just really, really nice materials. That versatility I talked about, you know, again with how you can ride this as a sling or as, as a backpack or even as kind of like a side satchel. This would, I was kind of anticipating this to be really good for kind of traveling with uh, because I can kind of carry it as a camera bag. Uh, and then if I'm kind of hiking somewhere, I can kind of uh, put it both straps on and use it as a backpack. I also say too, uh, that I like about it is it's not a tactical looking bag. So many of the bags in this space just kind of scream, hey, I'm carrying something over here. Something like this is particularly like in this color is very neutral. Kind of blends in it does have that concealed carry sleeve and then it does have kind of a lot of neat little features like a key keeper uh, hook in the pocket and uh, internal uh, sleeve pockets uh, pull tabs etc etc with the cons the i primarily got this so that when i go to town i have a place i can put my firearm and you can see here and and there's one on each side of this it's very kind of limited. It's very difficult to get in and out of here for a draw. Like if I'm pulling something out, there's a lot of things to kind of snag. Also, this space here, it's too small. I tried using my Smith & Wesson shield with this and I can't even, without any holster or anything, put it in and, and, and easily close this. I'd literally have to kind of push it in and, and get it up and over to get. And that's considered a subcompact pistol. Firearms that you could fit in here is maybe a little 380 bodyguard or, you know, like a, a Walther PPK. Something that size can fit in that, but nothing really any bigger. Similarly, you're going to be very limited in holster options that attaches to the Velcro in here. So you're going to need some sort of trigger guard. And there's also no loop on the inside to attach a trigger guard to. So that if you're pulling a firearm out, that it's automatically going to pull it out. So for concealed carry purposes, this is really limited. Um, I would also say too, um, even if you're not gonna use this for concealed carry, 
the size of this isn't very big. Maybe you could get a small iPad in here, but then it's also what's right against your back. So that for me is kind of a big, does not work. So the other thing too I found is you can kind of see here, it's kind of, kind of fat and round. And what that translates to is when it's on your back, it rolls on your back. It doesn't like to stay put. And I think like a good sling bag uh, should be flat in its overall shape. So it stays flat on your body. Similarly, the straps, there's really no padding or anything on that. I guess you could get something that kind of goes over the strap that provides more padding and, and also kind of keeps this strap in place on your shoulder so it's not sliding around. Another thing too is, you know, Maxpedition really excels at organization. And surprisingly, this pack has very little to it. There's just those two mesh panels in here, but there's like nothing else that you can really organize. There's no internal little pockets. There's like this sleeve, but everything would just be loose in here. And then finally, I would just say the cost of this. I mean, this MSRP on this is $100. I'm not saying it's a bad deal for this level of quality and craftsmanship. It's just, there's a lot of other items that I think are very similar quality that are out there on the market that you can get for far less than $100. On sale at $70 is obviously uh, low enough for me to give it a try and uh, see how I liked it. But for me, the concealed carry or the lack of concealed carry with this is really just a big stopper. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be returning this uh, and kind of looking at something else. Anyway, if you uh, like this video, go ahead, hit like, share it, comment on it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I always kind of enjoy having a dialogue in the comments and uh, I'll be talking to you later. Mountain Boy out.